Hi, this is Carol. Welcome to my studio. This is another collage that I've done and I've included the instructions for you to review, but I will walk you through the step-by-step -step during this video. As you can see, I've already got this canvas ready to go with the paint. Um, I'm adding my different colors. It's going to be a dirty pour. And it's going to be the ultramarine blue, magenta, white, a light turquoise, gold, and then I come back later with like a lime green. Okay, I've applied it, now I'm spreading the paint out. This is being done by rotating it on my Lazy Susan. Taking a spatula now and spreading out the paint to reach the ends of the corners. I didn't wet the canvas before I put the paint on. That's why I'm having to do this, otherwise the paint would have moved a lot faster. This is taking quite a bit of paint because it is a large canvas. It's a 30 by 30 inch. There's my magenta. Of course, when I'm spinning it in real time, it's not that fast. Okay, after the paint is completely covering the canvas, I will let it dry 100%. This particular canvas, it took two days to dry. There was a lot of paint on there pretty thick. It has to be dry before I apply the gold leaf. Okay, I'm touching up the sides of the canvas right now. I've begun here applying the glue and I did color this glue white so it would show up on the, the dark blue area of the canvas. The main part that I'm going to want a gold leaf is where the folds are in the paper. Here's the instructions for applying the gold leaf. And as you can see, I started to lay it out on the canvas. The glue is definitely tacky to the touch, so I'm able to apply the gold leaf with ease. If it's too wet, what happens is the gold leaf 
will just break apart and it won't have a real clean fresh look to it. Okay, I'm going to go throughout the canvas applying the gold leaf and you could see the various different sizes that I've already cut. I do that to eliminate waste. If I apply one big sheet on an area that's small, I'm going to pretty much waste a lot of gold leaf. As you can see, applying gold leaf is quite a process. It's not that it's hard, but it is tedious. Okay, I'm coming to the end here of the gold leaf and now I am brushing it, making sure I get all the loose vines clear from the rest of it so I could pick it up with my vac. I've got a small vacuum cleaner that works real well for this. In fact, in the inside of the vacuum cleaner, there's the bag and I could take the fines out if I want to use them for another painting just to scatter them here and there on the canvas when the paint is wet. Because when I'm finished, I will spray a varnish on the painting. That seals in the gold leaf and protects it and will keep its true color. There is no comparison between the gold leaf and gold paint. The end result with the gold leaf, it just it, it's just a big wow. Well, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe so you can get notice of my next videos. And of course, if you enjoyed this one, I would love to have you like it and please comment. I named this painting Gold Treasure in Abstract, a poured collage painting.